and like they have different approaches towards like God and things like that and and chaos and order and like free will like a, a lot of topics that you, that are like intangible that you can't really point to a specific thing there is disagreement on it but that's what made it interesting that's what like everyone complimented each other like the the, the contrast complemented each other if that makes sense mm-hmm. it does it does and there's also a point of if the idea is your own is all the more powerful versus someone else giving you to it that's why there are so many ideas but all all of them are kind of true they're slightly differently presented Mm -hmm. but the thing is if it's your idea to you it's two to ten times more powerful because you use it you know the ways and of course since Mm -hmm. just like your name which is the sweetest thing to you your creations are just like that and you also think about it a little bit more of course you progress more your efficiency over it is just as many times better which is same for the philosophy yeah. guys they're similar but contrasting because that's their life experience speaking in the back yeah yeah which is awesome that's kind of why i wanted to make these videos these 45 videos because i was re I, i've read this book so many times maybe like seven times like over the past six months but each time I forget things, each time there's a sentence I don't understand, and I come, I come back to it later and I understand it's got a completely different meaning. And I want to make the 45 videos on all the different topics that um, are like big issues for young men, including myself. And then I want to grasp my own like way of solving each of these things but through the 45 videos i'll use stoicism get some ideas adapt to it to, to my life the modern world and then literally have that in like, the, like a bank in the back of my mind so that whenever i face this issue yeah like the one i was speaking about anxiety being you're trying to control things you can't control like mental models i can use in my in my life and then over time just build myself like into my own philosopher essentially definitely will it's a time thing but you definitely will with all that knowledge although i would recommend yeah. maybe if you have 45 ideas you could try and go very deep into a single one and then move on to the next because mm-hmm. it's the same as how hamza says splitting your attention you have a ball multiple errors that same mental model 45 mm-hmm. errors right so just focus maybe yeah. focus on a single idea first don't worry about the other ones and really try to solve this one if you can of course if you can um you, you can make multiple videos out of a single idea because it branches off and so on multiple times an idea for you could be you can create your 45 minute idea uh, video right after you create it try applying it to yourself and mm-hmm. whatever comes out of it post that and then your 45 oh. ideas could be, I don't know, how do you mold? Oh, it's like 90 and then, yeah, 90 ideas. Then I'll do another one that's 880 and then do another one that's like six, 360. Our maths are not, not that good. <laughs> that's powerful, yeah, because from a single pull, generated like years worth of ideas. Yeah, pretty much. And if you say, spread your content all like over multiple issues then you'll also get an audience that's also spread out just as so in different different yeah. issues and so on so well yeah what's that i put in read you some of the, some of the ideas i had so we have loneliness depression anxiety discipline gratitude addiction making your thoughts pure avoiding future sadness how to make the most difficult times, purpose over money, avoiding regret, consistent actions, what a great man is to find as according to stoicism, um, how to deal with other people that aren't self-improvement, confidence, being honourable, disloyalty, and immediate happiness and peace, common mistakes of men, impulse, like the, the topics are all very different and then we've also got videos on why we care about things of others why, why we actually are inconsistent what a good friend is 
and what your most achieve, most important achievement should be, why young men lack identity, how to win freedom, um, just yeah, like it, it, like what kind of triggered the ideas, that, and then from those ideas, I like extrapolated them into like modern life, and been like, okay, that would work for this, and then I've linked all the ideas to the spe specific chapters. Hmm. Hmm. Proper excited about this. Yeah, I can... it just seems like great. I can see that. So all all those ideas are connected to a chapter on the books you've read. Yeah. So well, loosely, loosely connected. It's not exact, but for example, one is on gratitude. And he was speaking about basically the reason. Like we're just trying to. To be honest, all 45 videos you could distill down to trying to control things outside of what you can control and not appreciating what you can control. Mm -hmm. But from that core idea, it splits out into like very, very, very specific things that just apply to discipline, just apply expectation. <clears throat> um, and then as well as that, I'm applying like mental models from, from what I've learned recently. So like <clears throat> I'm explaining how to earn your freedom through like um, biology, like ev evolution, and then like that core idea of controlling what you can control uh, branches out into evolution and like basically making iterations of yourself that are better and better and better over time, things like that. Um, it's not complex, like the, the, the knowledge that I've learned isn't complex. Yeah. It just becomes complex when you introduce specific topics like freedom, disappointment, like when it's domain specific, it becomes like, I mean, I could probably make a long video on each of these. Yeah, we're looking to 10 minute videos for them. Mm. And honestly, I think if you just make 45 videos in a single day, like of course, like the eight hour thing in a single day, and then just slowly edit them over time, or not even edit them very much, depends on how you do it. You would essentially have 45 days to work on a project or something because it's uploading for 45 days. You keep giving me more good ideas. I really like the idea of forcing the results. That, mm. that is a, an insane idea, to be honest, because you, you, you're sort of like building your own flywheel of credibility. So you make a video, you test it out, you get results, more credibility. You make another video and it just becomes this cycle. Of, that's just insane. Hmm. I like that. That's going to do that. That's usually how um, it works. Yeah. That's perfect because then what I can do is just work on a project while supplying the ideas that I've learned. Make probably probably journal all 45 ideas first. Maybe that'll take a week. Then the other 38 days, I'll go into reading the next book. Take more ideas. And then by the time that's, do that's done, that, that, that research, I can then post all the results. <laughs> and then, yeah, it just becomes a continuous sign. You may, you may have just given me years worth of ideas <laughs> in a... <laughs> In a 45 minute conversation yeah yeah honestly if you just have a single idea that can just have a like a butterfly effect of so many ideas you can just keep going i noticed that like very early in just creating videos i just created one idea which was about routines and everything but then just doing the brainstorming and everything that the ones i've shown you every single one every line is an idea by on itself that i can talk about yeah. So yeah. I was getting overwhelmed at one point. I was like, okay, I'm getting so many ideas. What? How do I even record this so quickly? Yeah. But yeah, you've also given me the idea of um, just doing like eight hours of recording a day. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of similar to coffee calls. Because when I go on to edit coffee calls into like the highlight version of it, I of course have to go through the entire thing and find these highlights, right? I can do that for like a video on the main channel by creating an eight hour long video of myself. I can go back to it and just pick out sections of it 
and over time I just have like free time to just upload so many videos. Which honestly, <laughs> if you remember Arkin, I think he can just like keep speaking and speaking and speaking. Yeah. Man. Oh yeah, he told me that um, the video he's currently working on, <clears throat> he, he, he by mistake recorded it in 4K and I think it was like multiple hours and it ended up as being 500 gigabytes. Wow. <laughs> So just recording 1080p man yeah yeah it turned into 50 gigs after he just translated converted it to 1080p so more, wow. more manageable but <laughs> it's cool it's cool these things are fun honestly but yeah and let's see how we go honestly because we still have that goal if you, you, if you have you forgotten it that our one year goal no of course i'm not perfect no no perfect. that actually makes me excited like all of us striving to just reach that goal so we can all just um meet up not really for like fully fun and everything of course doing the entrepreneurship and whatever while there but still meet up and just have this a group of people and just you know chill at times but also work at times i think that'll be fun yeah because i think when you think of the future and you're like i want to get to five grand a month and you break down the YouTube channel and you're like, okay, like in a year and a half, I can get five grand a month. That in itself isn't enough of it, uh, enough of an incentive to work. It's like five grand a month, like, okay, I can buy what a thousand Big Macs from McDonald's if I want it. Like, you've not got an idea how you're going to spend that money. But yeah, when you think I could have an entirely new life with new people yeah. in an environment that would be even better for productivity, because imagine if there was a few of us, like, you know, in the same area living. The amount of ideas we would come up with just from speaking about that it, it just compound it does um oh yeah yeah it does and not to mention there is also the sense of competition oh bro he, he's gonna reach it first i have to, I have to do this faster yeah. <laughs> but there's also the excitement yeah. of oh man we only have an hour uh, a year to reach that goal and uh of course, we don't want to embarrass ourselves and be like, oh, I didn't reach it and I can't go anymore. <laughs> Which fit in with that. Yeah. And that will, of course, also push versus a thousand max. <laughs> like a burger. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've had it like that particular goal in my journal. I'm going to analyze it or everything like by the end of the week because that's when I usually do them. All the ideas mm -hmm. go in journal analyze it after a week uh, but yeah because right now the entire schedule is like filled with like i've got to do this at this time this time if i start analyzing those ideas in this time when am i gonna do this one so th that's my way of just scheduling an idea or i'll just call it ideation that is from ness mm -hmm. if you know ness <laughs> probably not he was just one of the guys who got banned at the very first purge of Adonis School. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he has this uh, a decent scheduling course that just helps you just organize things, I guess. But then again, you can still manage without it, but there's some specific knowledge in it that really helps. Yeah. Mm. I'll also teach you. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Uh, I was. I was just saying, I'll also teach you at some point. But yeah, go on. Okay. I was just thinking, right, imagine in like a year's time, re-watching the coffee calls, speaking about what we want to do. <laughs> like in the future, like, yeah, that'd be so weird. Like looking back and thinking like... It will be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might not be a year. Like, if, if I don't want to... Because it's like a saying, like the optimist dies first. I always see it in business uh, all the time. We've already started, but for people that just get into business, like the 16 year old kid who thinks he's gonna get 10 grand a month in six months. Yeah. Like, as soon as, you realize, as soon as he's faced with reality, there's a bigger drop off in morale versus the person who's not optimistic to begin with, but still stays consistent. Then the drop off is only a, I guess, a small amount. So I don't wanna shoot myself in the foot by you know, up here in optimism and then drop him. That's true. So it might not be a year. I hope it is, and I believe it could be, 
Mm. But I'm not going to tell myself it's a year because I'd rather be under optimistic. I'm actually just scrolling through my calendar <laughs> right now on my work lab now. Mm, gotcha. I'm going to set a day on my work up to leave my job right now. Oh, really? Thanks. The 1st of January 2026, which sounds like a million years off. It does. Like two years off. Yeah. But that might happen sooner. It might happen later. But in two years, I would have made serious inroads into like, you know, becoming who I want to become. And then it kind of comes on the top. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's actually a good point that I should note off. Although, with the idea of uh, like competition, that we're not going to reach it and so on, we'll push it forward. Would that be pass pessimism or not? Mm. You've got to kind of balance it, right? Yeah. Because if we're going to define what optimism there's a difference between optimism and realism, really, right? I mean, the competition stuff works well because it applies to realism. It's it's like day to day, like like to get you know this many videos. Like I might tell you I've got a book to read. You'd be like, cool, I've got like some journaling stuff to do, and I've got this new topic to explore. And then like encouraging each like well, what we already do, like I, I, how far have you got in this? Keeps us consistent day to day with the competition, yeah. and that applies to realism, right? Because it's we're not dreaming about future events. We're just focused on the now. Yeah. The the, the over optimism basically just comes from like over exaggerating. There's a quote that we underestimate what we can do in a year, and we overestimate what we can do in a year, and underestimate what we can do in ten years. Heard of it, yeah. And that's kind of the, yeah. That's true. I guess it could be that like I was talking about this particular point, the goal could be just a motivational thing that we can use to just fire ourselves up otherwise of course yeah, with how coffee calls are we're really just talking about the things we're doing now issues and so on that of course we try mm -hmm. to progress and uh, well push ourselves to just do the priority one task rather than other tasks which is what really That's we it. need but yeah like I don't know why I had a bit of a struggle with the prioritizing stuff I was always dissecting other stuff, which I, not doing the first one, probably one, which was videos, which I delayed for a while. Mm -hmm. But now, of course, I uh, just have it at the top of the to-do list to just focus on this and just get that done. And uh, with these coffee calls, of course, <laughs> it's much better as well. Then uh, theoretically, we're also pushing each other's to also do the right thing and go about yeah. it. And uh, yeah. I do still have to get a, f a few other people to also know of this, like our challenge. I did have yeah. Arkin yesterday, but I forgot to mention because, uh, well, he he's, he's talking all the time, right? I'm the quiet guy, <laughs> so I didn't get to it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to try and get as many people into it as possible. So we'll just have a group. And um, I also would like to like instill this idea of leadership because to get things done, you have to be the leader. You have to have the pull and just push forward rather than wait for mm -hmm. other people to, oh yeah, he, when once he, he's catch up, he'll catch up, then I'll of course go forward. No, rather than that, just go, oh yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing because I'm the one leading. Theoretically, everyone is leading, but in your mind, just go, you're, you're the one leading and go forward. Just like coffee calls, because before that, before any calls that happened, no one led them, and of course they broke down. But for this coffee, for coffee calls in general, I'm leading them by showing up every single day. That is just the yeah. point of it. And uh, yeah, imagine Lucas, if you're a leader and you have uh, these little brothers looking up to you, waiting for you to complete this task. What do you think you would do? Complete it, or even just go be up above and beyond. Yeah, you definitely go above, above and beyond. Kind of like that idea as well. Like, yeah, we're all. If there's like four, five, six, ten, hundred people that are on this mission, and they're all acting like leaders in the sense that, like, it's really just a sense of not being self-centered. Really, like, yes, I'm progressing, but like, I want to know how you guys are getting on. And if everyone's got that attitude, 
It was like we're all, we all need to get the, the same, well not the same point, but we all need to get there. And it's kind of cool. I kind of think of it as like, <laughs> imagine like a bunch of people in the middle of the ocean in like, um, like boats, like sailing towards destination. You yeah. wouldn't want to leave like one boat behind, like you've got to get all the boats to the destination. That's true, that's true. And also what I meant by leadership, it also doesn't mean to have an ego in anything like that. It's just the logic to rather than wait for another person to do this thing, it's your duty to be independent and do it. Because there, imagine like again using that same, let's say people are on an isolated island, right? Each one of the person can assume an independent role to this. So a doctor, grab the food and everything like that. That's their job and they have to just do it without waiting for instructions or things like that. Of course, there's a collective thing where everyone does a meeting, discuss what's happened and so on. But after the meeting, it's your own independence to just fight. Coffee calls can be those meetings that we do. Just organize ourselves, tell each other, oh, do this, do that, because that's better. Priority one, of course. And then when we spread out, then you focus on yourself as the leader of in your time because well looking at it physically you're in the uk i'm in australia so we're pretty far away and well who else is, are you going to wait for you to lead well for others to lead you sorry yeah no, i like that idea yeah it makes sense so yeah can just take action. yeah yeah exactly all my ideas so far are all all directed at this actionability or usability of it versus not previously what i used to do was uh, just have these goals just look at or take notes from a podcast and never use it but now it's each point first section is priority one priority two priority three and i have to get this one done doesn't matter if this gets done or not this is like the really learning or any side actions this is what will actually push me so of course focusing it in that sense and for notes rather than just taking notes i just take specific notes that i can change right now say for example the leadership thing i could take a note of saying well i'm just gonna take it literally to lead the coffee calls every time to bring everyone together to uh, make everyone speak and so on that would be a change of some sort but it's not really change i already do that but you know what i mean yeah no i like that especially the part i mean for all of us right it has to be making videos yeah it just has to, maybe not so much qual like quantity of videos like we don't all want to be like uploading 40 times a week like just <laughs> loading rubbish stuff yeah but yeah work that directly contributes to making videos and making videos themselves for all of us that has to be above making you know courses for the future or above making um you know like because i like doing this right i like i mean I did, I did it this morning i had a little like journal of what i wanted to do in like a school community and stuff and I, I spent an hour and a half doing it and i thought i need to stop now because i've just wasted that's not any leverage towards what i'm doing now and also it's going to change in the future anyway there's no there's no point doing it so yeah for me now i'm just all about getting ideas for videos, making videos, just repeat them. What I would suggest for, you know, the idea creation you were doing for your community, just write down like a rough version of it in like a place that you can access all the time. And when more ideas come into mind, just keep updating it. And uh, by the end of it, when you just have this big idea, you can just collect everything into a singular idea. That's how I do my ideas. Uh, rather than say I'm journaling, and I have these scattered ideas throughout the week, throughout the month. By the end of the month, I just collect similar ideas into a single group and then refine it all at once. That's another good idea that I've got <laughs> written down. Yes, I have got a rough idea at the moment. Mm. And then I like that because it, it forces you to be patient. It forces you to think long term. And it forces it kind of eases a bit of anxiety like I don't have all the answers now but that doesn't mean to say I will have them in the future and having the patience and the long-term vision to just leave things just let them be until things naturally come to you 
Yeah, yeah. I like that. And plus, when you actually, it's time for you to think about it. You're yeah. out, you're going to be out of ideas because <laughs> where is all the information that you thought of? By just having all that, you have a base point to start off and then go from there. And I was going to say another thing I forgot, but <laughs> but that's the main thing about it. Oh yeah, I remember. I also have this um, folder I just call unanswered questions that I that I try to journal. I can get an answer out of it, but it's always low quality. I always just bring those questions and put it into a folder called unanswered, which again, every month I go over and if I have more ideas, I just add on top of it until of course they're solved. So yeah, yeah, so <laughs> a quick thing also, all this stuff that I'm really showing you, most of it, 80% of it has all just come from journaling. Just reflection over reflection over stuff, ideas that forms automatically from it, created all this. And of course, combining multiple ideas into a single one creates a new idea that I just put in and yeah, you have a personally created cluster of ideas. That's really just my thing. <laughs> if you remember, yeah. uh, let me pick that up because I just recently made that up. The mission statement that I had which is mm -hmm. believe it enough it becomes your world that's like my mission or well main core mindset in terms of creating all these systems and so on and two rules that follow which i mentioned to you is nihilism and existentialism nothing matters therefore create based on what you think matters because no is that the kind of philosophy that you is that your philosophy that yeah nothing yeah. matters or create what you think matters kind of but i say it as in believe it enough it becomes your world because if you don't believe it right. it's sort of on the place but and a simpler version is nihilism and existentialism which is if nothing really exists then if you believe it enough it becomes your world mm -hmm. yeah if there's nothing at all oh, yeah yeah, yeah. So that's the main thing about it and that just means all the concepts that i create they don't have any restrictions except my own limiting beliefs and so on which of course get destroyed over time because of this which is cool i like the all the whole concept of it or even the theme of it which frankly i am going to uh, maybe by the end of this month going to refresh quite a few few stuff because I've been full of journaling, I've been, well, not able to catch up, so like two months behind. So I've created this new concept called perfect journaling, which is I try to complete the week that just went by in the following week, in small clusters. So by the end of yeah. it, they're all complete. And since I organize all the weeks into 7, 14, 21, and then the rest of the days as a big final week the fourth week the extra days that i have i can use that to journal the month and that of course allows me to okay. yeah. just refresh everything a little bit the end yeah yeah so that's the new i was writing down my journal yeah go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm planning out my journal as we speak yeah so i've got a tab for big projects school community one-to-one -one coaching youtube avatar who i want to be customer avatar who i want to watch unanswered questions about philosophy and it up life answer questions answer questions then becomes my um like the basis of my character and who i want to become mm -hmm. so basically just rereading and reminding myself of these basically the mental models that i've established or about specific topics um oh, what am i gonna get answer questions answer questions yeah that's that's where i'm at right now i don't want to make it too overwhelming because i do get overwhelmed by detail yeah yeah. So it basically just is like four journals, four to, uh, big projects, four different big topics that are like going to push me towards what I want. And then but things I don't know, like questions I don't have the answers to, questions I do have the answers to. That's it. For now. Yeah. And then maybe one just for like day to day, day to day, like self 
reflection like on my emotions and, and weaknesses and limitations yeah you can do that what do you think i think that'd be good you might just refine it over time because the first round that you go through is going to just let like you'll experience these small things that you notice that are not that good some that are very good which of course you'll rearrange and create your own version from it which of course you'll mm -hmm. try it first to see and also a heads up if you're getting to journaling it is a very big time consumer so <laughs> get ready yeah. for that yeah yeah but then again journaling itself even though it takes a lot of time the benefits are very big versus imagine mm -hmm. um you know remember the guy that got banned recently uh, the top one the first guy in the leaderboard high end i think it was his name oh yeah 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 i remember yeah i used dennis, to see him everywhere yeah yeah he's very active but yeah dennis was saying that uh, he went on a meeting with him and he was pretending to be tate it, does he does he uh, i don't i don't remember the shape honestly oh the hazard symbol yeah i don't yeah. know so he pretends to be like tate all the time what i'm why i'm calling that right now is because journaling allows you to create your own version of it pretty easily of course over time but a very strong version of it and um, the cost is time it takes a while and I don't know there's so many benefits to journaling like you can literally use it for anything anything at all you can change your identity you can contain data it's so free yeah like it's the it's like a singular concept brought to a very high level even say i don't know if you've seen this idea in movies where if you swing a sword a thousand times or something, then your the thousand in the first swipe will be a containment of all those thousand swords at once. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, sort of like that. It's bringing something very simple to a very high level makes it even more powerful than actual high level stuff, which is journaling for me, honestly. That Any? makes perfect sense. Do you want to know the first thing I'm going to journal about the first topic? I have journaled in the past, but not very structured. Yeah. My first question to answer in my journal is how much time is my self identity worth? Really? Okay. Just to yeah, because then I, from that, I can understand how much time to dedicate to it. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> really? I persuade myself to do it. I mean, honestly. That is much better than mine, because mine, when I did it, I didn't even know it was journaling at the time. I was like 12 or 13 or something. I just wrote a single page, like filled the one entire page. Just me talking about life, how life is right now, uh, how much I love my parents, uh, what I want to do right now and so on. And then I forgot about it after mm -hmm. a year, picked it up again, forgot about it. <laughs> single page each time. And it was only last year, I can just bring it up honestly. Yeah, I should bring it up. No, probably not. <laughs> but it was last year, around September, that I actually got into it very deeply. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. not not too deeply as how I am now, but really just uh, brain dumping every single day, writing something down. And of course, it was because of the girl that I mentioned, <laughs> that freaking just just started everything. Uh, but yeah, girls are girls cause so much pain. Because like, at that time, I don't know, I just considered myself like this innocent guy at that time that uh, thought love was the main thing and you should sacrifice everything for it. And that was my mindset was, yeah, I'm just going to give my entire world to her because she was the first one, literally first girl that I liked, like yeah. entirely. And yeah, she just broke it apart multiple times and I'm just like, oh, okay, I like this pain, so I'm just going to continue doing it, which is me self-improvement. <laughs> me too, imagine that. I was exactly the same. Oh, exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. I don't know. It, I even, at the moment, I even have a goal, a five-year plan, that I'm going to self-improve so much, and then after five years, I'm going to go back to her and propose. But I know, yeah, because... 
I've journaled over time and again and again, it's getting harder and harder for me to just stick to her because I'm yeah. just realizing so much stuff. Because of that, I created uh, these new things called identity series, which just has this, uh, say, a code of identity text or something. I, I don't know how to describe it, but that just has an identity called villainous eternal lover what does that mean from out of your mind it means somebody that you're gonna love for the rest of your life but you can't actually do it you can't have them like you can love them while they're from a distance is that right not exactly that way but kind of kind of it is there it does allow me to stick to her a bit longer I guess but by villainous I mean to say gain experience with other women so for example mm -hmm. uh, me not really going for other girls at all goes to her very inexperienced doesn't know what to do with them of course and so on even if I'm like level 100 in self-improvement by then it wouldn't really matter because she'll just I don't know the ways right but then there's the villain yeah. who knows all the ways he goes up to her and just like instantaneously that's the mindset we really need because if you literally destroy her after five years of improvement you have the patience to become so strong become the villain yeah. <laughs> what is she gonna do i mean <laughs> but yeah i think it's it's better to assume yeah i think it's better to assume that you're a villain rather than a hero hero has too many restrictions too many ideologies that restricts him of course but the villain is well, theoretically authentic to himself does whatever he likes and so on wolves don't break the law but uh, if you have the power why wouldn't you and in this case the law would be the law of attraction which is i'm so ir irresistible that uh, she's just <laughs> gone <laughs> in that way yeah. but yeah good mindset honestly it's really one of the cool things that pushes us because for men that is one of our pride that gets hurt and of course we just gotta hit it hard otherwise if you live with it and do nothing i don't know you'll just be a loser and although before that i was like even content with just not doing anything so my plan before self-improvement was just Get, upgrade my computer every single year and just play games get like a normal job i would have been content with just that because what else do you need yeah. in life because it's really just to do what you like which is for me was gaming playing games of course now that i think about it i was a depressed kid or something we just yeah. played games but if you look at it he was he, i would get very irritated or angry and so on very easily now i'm smiling all the time grateful and all that kind of stuff it's just so much better these are things you wouldn't you would never know unless you go through them that's just a sad reality of like all the degenerates that are out there there's this entire world out there and they're just oblivious to it and not by their mistake it's it's their fate in a way a way of looking at it it's their fate mm. kind of is because they haven't had the pain seeing people like i started going to the gym early i was 14 i was five foot nine 55 kilos um like the skinniest kid 55 kilos is 110 pounds um and then a few a few of my friends started going to the gym one guy was like six foot three like 185 pounds to begin with at like 14 he never stuck to the gym uh, and he hasn't gone back to the gym since like, i've seen photos of him he looks the same as he did when he was 14. and then we had a few other friends that were like the same as me like really skinny and now i don't speak to him anymore but like when i see like the post or something like they're, they're all like massive it's the ones that had the pain of realizing how bad it was to have the opposite to what they have now if that makes sense like that pushed them towards that direction yes that's exactly it that's the I also have a concept that goes under moral standards. I, I think that's what I've named them in my list. 
uh, you must know the evil to know the good because if your standard of evil is not that high to begin with the standard of good will just as same be not that high either the more you pull them apart the bigger the evil the, lo the better the stronger the good if that makes sense I kind of more polarity yeah yeah this is supposed to be good this is supposed to be bad Switch to the mode. Yeah. but yeah the thought from Nietzsche um so obviously they have a tree and like and like as you progress through life the tree starts off with roots that aren't that far in the ground and the tree's only small and then it, it shoots higher up into the sky basically what you've just described there Nietzsche mm -hmm. um, as like a similar analogy for it it's like yin yang kind of yeah and uh, as you've seen my uh Ouroboros <laughs> part that has those elements in it included in it in the concept of its creation yin and yang good and bad which is i think it's shown in two ways which is like the black hole and the sun that i mentioned and also the snake of it so the eating part is the darkness and this is the life death and life that goes through mm -hmm. that is also included in it which i think this this is like a very core idea or foundation that we always need and creating more pain out of things is oh, ideal in some way if you, if you know what i mean yeah self-inflicted pain yeah yeah that's why i said i called myself self-sadistic at one point <laughs> yeah oh wait dennis is here i was gonna leave in four minutes man <laughs> yeah so i was gonna drop off bro is he is he joining you know okay he's just uh I, swear yeah. left, I just saw a dog and a kid. I was like, it was like a bit of confusion. <laughs> Maybe it's Dennis, like when he's young, like a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my brother. That's my little brother. Oh, that's your little brother. Oh, wow. I thought that was you. Oh, yeah. Goddamn. How are you, man? Yeah. Isn't it very late for you? Yeah. I thought I might be late to coffee call, but. Wow. I mean, yeah, we're almost about to head off. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I'm about to record my video, so that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. My game. Yeah. Yeah, me and uh, Lucas went into a deep dive of like, philosophical ideas and a lot of self-created ideas. <laughs> it was cool. That's good. Yeah. Pretty fun, honestly. I think more people should join. They're just like procrastinating, I guess. <laughs> I don't think people know that it's coffee call. No, every no. every night, like for me at night, I do uh, join the call as well with someone else. So it's kind of been getting more active the twenty four seven call. Yeah. It is. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Which is good. It's just good. Yeah. I don't know. I've I've theoretically posted about coffee calls for a month, but people are just like ignoring yeah, it. Yeah. People ways. don't really see the post. I think. Yeah, it, it hasn't popped up on my feed very much. I guess better. So maybe just like the stimulus. Not so sure. Like the stimulus effect. Like if you see the same post thirty times, like coffee call, coffee call, coffee call. I think people would just learn to ignore it. Yeah, just like adapt to it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, but oh, I guess so. It was always at the same time. I was just like six thirty my time. And Not always. It was 9 a.m. first. I guess so. At the very beginning, it was two hours, two no, two and a half hours earlier. Then I just made it 6:30 because it just suited the people that joined. Otherwise, if I started joining at four, those calls went until like 11. That's like seven hours. <laughs> yeah. So I have to bring it down, just so I can end it forcefully biological through biological ways just bro i gotta sleep <laughs> <laughs> biological barrier that's cool but yeah dennis any few words before i head off mm, i'm gonna tell my parents i'm gonna quit uni today oh good <laughs> okay that's a big news i'll be dumping I mean, yesterday you were pretending to, well, go to uni, but didn't really. Yeah. 
my alarm. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure though. Hmm. But I have this project, and for the past one and a half week, I haven't done anything about it. So I'm kind of just like, fuck the whole project. And <laughs> I'll just leave right now. What's the point of saying if I know I'm going to quit anyways? That's true. So, really just a fear of current. That's the but, better early than, than late. So, yeah, that's true. But, Dennis, I, I mean, mean, it's a hmm? choice that you might have to make pretty soon because, uh, you know, remember that. Uh, our goal that we talked about yesterday or the day before. Yeah. Are oh, you do? What is it? Of course. Hmm? What's the goal? The villa and the... Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Because we got to go for that, man. We got to push ourselves. Although, sure. Lucas has mentioned, don't be too optimistic about it. Because you can lose. That's the actual probability. And Yeah, I mean, that's not the main goal for me. The main goal is really to just get my first dollars online first year was online yeah yeah which is and amazing. yeah that's really it man really got a grind in it which i think we all should <laughs> and think about my parents like at least they're used to it my brother dropped out of uni at college like three times so at least they're used used to it oh, okay i guess it won't be too bad so that's Hopefully. good yeah 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 do let us know how that goes well kind of but uh yeah, I'll just uh, head off if you guys... Well, are you all setting off, Lucas? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to... I was going to ask, I was gonna ask, how did he go with the girl? Uh, I said yesterday, I got... Uh, we're going on Monday. Like, she said she couldn't go yesterday. But on Monday, uh, we set a time, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Abuse the chat. <laughs> yeah. Like, she's a dream girl, bruh. Hey, yeah. she said yes. Wow. Let's see how they go. I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep a, my, a mental note of it to ask you after Monday whenever you join. So, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow or the day after <laughs> whenever you join. Probably Monday because tomorrow and uh, Sunday. Sunday after work. So. I mean, I might join at work, but that's kind of fucked. So yeah. I'll see. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's uh, whenever you can. No pressures. And uh, yeah, yeah I'll... have a good weekend, y'all. Yeah, you, and you too. That's Keep it. Us.